Hello everyone, welcome to another video from the AI loop. Today we're going to be looking at the Rouge metric. In the previous video, we've looked at a similar metric called Blue that is also used in the evaluation of a sequence generation task. Today we're going to be looking at another metric like this that helps us identify the quality of the output generated by our model. So before I start, I'm going to write down two sentences. The first one is going to be a reference sentence, as in the ground truth that we have. And the second one is going to be a predicted sentence. Predicted sentence is the sentence or the output that we get from our model. And let us derive the Rouge scores from this to understand how they work. And let me let write this as police kill the gunman. And let me write this sentence as the gunman killed police sorry the gunman police killed so essentially the idea is that the meaning of the both sentences is similar but the words are different or the order of the words are different and let's strike and calculate the root score from this so before i calculate the root score i just want to <sighs> so before i calculate the root score I just want to give a little intuition on the precision and the recall based metrics because that, that's really important in calculating the root score. So if you're not really aware, precision is something that when we have the predicted sentence, let's say like we have the gunman police killed as a predicted sentence, how many of the words are actually true? Like how many of these words are actually present in the reference sentences? That's the precision. And the recall is in that when we have a sentence predicted, like the gunman killed police, how many of the words in the predicted sentences are correct in terms of the reference? So that's the slight intuition, but there are like a ton of resources out there to understand, and I'll also try making videos on those too. So let's start. And before you start, you have to pick a hyperparameter. I'm gonna pick one. That means I'm gonna do it for the unigrams and compare each word. As you go further in number, you start clubbing the words together, and this way uh, the variants of Rouge are formed. So let's calculate which one. So what we basically do is first calculate the precision, and then calculate the recall, and then calculate the F1 score, and we report the F1 score ideally. So let's see the number of matches. We have the word the matching, we have the word gunman matching, we have the word police and killed matching too. So essentially the predicted and the reference sentence is same. So in precision, what we know is that the number of matches is four, right? So that makes it four by the number of words or unigrams in the predicted sentences. That's four to the, so that, that would be one because we want to know how many of the predicted words are actually correct. And this would be a 4x4 four four to recall because the number of matches are 4 and the number of words in the reference sentences is 4 too. That would make it 1. So F1 is basically the formula is 2 into precision into recall by precision plus recall. And that would ideally make it 1, 2. So this is like a perfect prediction. Remember that root value always lies between 0 to 1. So this is not the interesting part of root score. What's interesting is the longest common subsequence variant, or we call it Rouge L. So, what is the longest common subsequence? Well, ideally here, we compared unigrams, right, one word against another, but in the longest common subsequence, what we do is we take the longest common subsequence between the reference and the predicted length. Uh, sentences. So what I mean by that is that let's say in the reference and the predicted sentence what is the longest sentence that fa falls continuously. So police killed right and police killed these two like this uh, set of words are the common subsequences. Now common subsequences as in the order should also be same. Here please note that the gunman is falling after the words police killed and here the gunman is falling before the police killed so the order of the words in the sentence is not maintained hence the gunman is not counted 
as the longest common subsequence. So in this way, the way we would, would calculate is that the number, let's say we just want to calculate the precision here, okay? So the number of sentences to like the match words are 2 by 4, that makes it 0 0.5. Now remember that this also makes uh, it a drawback for the longest common subsequence. Uh, we know that the meaning or the semantic nature of both the sentences is the same. But when we're trying to capture the longest common subsequence, we get a score of 0 0.5. So this is a drawback for the longest common subsequence. Although the paper addresses this by a bit through another concept called the weighted longest common subsequence, but it's not really that famous. And usually papers report either Rouge 1, 2, or a combination of Rouge 1, 2, and Rouge L. So these are the most uh, common metrics that are reported. And I think the paper came out somewhere around 2004, a couple of years later after the uh, paper blew. Well, my say on this is that, again, rouge metric is similar to blue. It does not account for the meaning or the semantic nature of the sentences. We're just comparing the word tokens or the longest common tokens and a match between and a literal match between the tokens. That's it for this video. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Please subscribe to the channel if you find the content helpful. That would be a great way to support us.